Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the new iClone 8 software. Now, as you all know, I've been using iClone 7 as far as animations goes whenever I create short films and things like that. So when iClone 8 came out, you know I wanted to check it out just to see if I can find some quality of life upgrades and improvements. And honestly, it didn't take long for me to find my very first one. So before this, I actually had to import my XS motion data into 3D Exchange and then, you know, characterize it there and then export it to iClone 7. But now with iClone 8, I can just drag and drop my motion animation capture file directly into iClone 8. If you're having issues or if you can't follow along, there's going to be a file that you can download called Xsense. Now, big thanks to Enoch and Luke for go ahead and sending me this file because when I installed iClone 8, I was not able to find this. So with that being said, go ahead and download that file. I'm going to put it in the description below and place it in your characterized profiles folder. And as you can see right here, I just added Xsense. This folder has 3S Max, Mixamo, Perception Neuron, which is freaking crazy. It's amazing. And again, one of the things that I clone people in Relusion are really good at is really making things better. A lot of quality of life addition to this new version. Okay, so I have a blank project right here. Uh, I clone 8 right now. And let me just show you how easy it is now to import motion capture data into iClone. So I'll select this default character, Camellia, Camilla, Camille A. Okay, and then what I'll do is really just click on the character and then look for my motion capture file, FBX, straight from Xsense uh, Motion Cloud. Or if you have the uh, Pro software, you can get it this way as well. But I'm going to take this Xsense Motion Capture data, and in the Motion Profile now, you're going to see Xsense. And I will just leave everything as default, auto-generate to perform list. That means it's going to add this animation into my project here. And then 60 frames per second is good. And let's go ahead and convert all. Okay, and just like that, if I press play now, you're going to see my animation that I recorded uh, from my Xsense motion capture suit. And again, this really skips me having to go to 3D Exchange and characterize there to pretty much legit dragging and dropping my animations in here. And then from here, if you've seen my workflow before, this is where I'm going to go ahead and add my gesture hand motions, which again, this is, which again, let's see if it's pretty similar to iClone 7. I'm going to go ahead and go to the edit motion layer. And I, as you can see right here, it's touching her, uh, her thigh right here. So I'll just go right here. And after that, what I'll do is I'll just click this mirror button right here and just kind of adjust it like so, so that, you know, she's not accidentally going through her thighs right now this is exciting because this is going to speed up my process even more and let's go check out some gestures here to see if we have those gestures still and it looks like i really hope they didn't get rid of it yes it's still there so i can double click this right here and there you go i don't have finger tracking gloves so i have it to i have to pretty much do it this way and I can change it to that if I wanted to. And I can animate all of that just like that. And again, and if I go, go to motion, I'm going to see those keyframes that I just added. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Now, obviously, I have really large biceps. So whenever I motion capture this, she looks like, you know, she's kind of, you know, bulging out as far as like she's pretty muscular here because, you know, I bench press like 45 pounds. So I'm a little bit you know, like more muscular than she is. That's why it kind of looks awkward. But my gosh, this is so exciting. And honestly, I just got this. Big thanks to Enoch, by the way, for hooking me up. But I just got this and I just can't wait to see what other quality of life improvements that this iClone added with his newest version. Okay, so with that being said, that is everything I got for y'all today. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just leave it down in the comments below. And if you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year, and I need your help.